You might be wondering, how do editors render videos with great quality and small file sizes to avoid TikTok's brutal compression? Today, I'll show you the free methods pros use, no cost, with amazing results. Head over to File, Export, Add to Render Queue. Now make sure you're getting the best quality by selecting Best in the Render Settings. Next, choose the Output Module. Set the format to H.264. Click on Format Options. Then select VBR 1 Pass and adjust the target bitrate to somewhere between 10 and 15 for a great balance in quality. Once you're happy with the settings, click OK. Now, pick where you want to save your file. You can also tweak with these settings further if you want, but for now, let's click on Render. This method is the fastest and easiest way to export your video, but I wouldn't personally recommend using it, because there are better ways to do this with more controls over the render settings. You can use an external plugin to get around this, but for many editors, the cost can be a barrier. That's where Handbrake comes in, a fantastic free tool that can save the day. Since we're using Handbrake in this method, I'll include a link in the description. This time, head over to the output module and switch the format to QuickTime. Then switch the video codec to Apple Pro Res. Once you've made these changes, hit OK and pick where you want to save your file. This is a great choice because QuickTime is super versatile and works well with lots of codecs, making it perfect for video editing. Next, open up Handbrake and import the file you just rendered in After Effects. Go to the Dimension section and remove any limits on the resolution. Then head over to the filters and disable them. In the video settings, set the encoder to H.264. Make sure the frame rate is set to match your source file. For the bitrate, aim for an average of around 10,000 to 15,000. This way, you'll get a great looking video that's still manageable in terms of size. One way to get the best results is to set the encoder preset to something slower. Personally, I like using very slow. Set the encoder profile to high and the encoder level to auto. Finally, browse to where you want to save your new file and click Start Encode. You're all set. Taking this route might take a bit longer, but trust me, the end result is totally worth it. If you're eager to take your edits to the next level, I highly recommend using Media Encoder. It's like having a whole separate software that works seamlessly with After Effects, offering a ton of options and features just for rendering. However, using Handbrake will do the trick just fine. Thanks so much for sticking with me through this tutorial. If you have any questions or need further help, don't hesitate to leave them in the comments below. I'll catch you all in the next video.